Hi, welcome to the African World Channel. Nigerians across the nation are rejoicing as President Tinubu firmly declares Nigeria's stance against hosting foreign military bases on its soil. In a resounding statement of national sovereignty and pride, President Tinubu has rejected proposals from France and the U.S. to establish military installations in Nigeria. This decision has elicited widespread relief and satisfaction among Nigerians, who see it as a testament to their country's independence and refusal to compromise on matters of national security and sovereignty. Remember to subscribe to our channel, give the video a thumbs up, and share it with others to help us reach a wider audience. Now let's get back to the video. The Apex Northern Sociocultural Group Airwa Consultative Forum ACF, has issued a comprehensive statement lauding the recent declaration by Mohamed Idris, the Minister of Information and National Orientation, asserting the federal government's steadfast commitment to refrain from allowing foreign military bases to be established within Nigeria's borders. In a detailed announcement conveyed by its National Publicity Secretary, Professor Tukur Mohamed Baba, from its headquarters in Kaduna, ACF expressed profound appreciation towards the Nigerian government for adopting a resolute and reassuring position on this crucial matter. According to ACF, this definitive stance signifies a significant victory not only for the government but for all deeply patriotic Nigerians who were poised to oppose the rumored plans of hosting U.S. and French military bases on Nigerian soil, especially in light of their rejection by neighboring countries Burkina Faso and Niger. Delving deeper into the discourse, ACF also articulated a sense of disappointment with an earlier statement emanating from the Human Rights Writers Association, HURIWA, purportedly endorsing the potential establishment of American and French military bases in Nigeria. In a surprising twist, the Human Rights Writers Association, HURIWA, has taken a stand that's turning heads, they're advocating for the establishment of American and French military bases in Nigeria. This unexpected move, contrary to what most Nigerians and the government believe, has sparked quite a debate. People are wondering, why would an organization supposedly dedicated to human rights push for something that seems to go against the interests of the country? Some are starting to question if groups like Huriwa might be influenced by foreign funding, receiving money or support from outside sources to promote agendas that benefit their backers. This raises some big questions about how transparent and trustworthy nonprofit organizations are. If they're being funded by foreign countries, are they really working for the good of the people they claim to represent? It's a reminder that we need to keep a close eye on these organizations to make sure they're staying true to their mission and not serving someone else's interests over our own. The forum found such support perplexing, short-sighted, and fundamentally misaligned with Nigeria's present ideological trajectory. They emphasized Nigeria's unwavering commitment to independence and sovereignty, underlining its solidarity with fellow African nations, particularly within the ECOWAS framework, and the collective struggle against colonialism and neocolonialism. It was quite a surprise to see President Tinubu denying the idea of allowing both French and American military bases in Nigeria, particularly given his involvement with ECOWAS during the Niger coup, where there seemed to be some alignment with French interests. Many were taken aback by this apparent shift in stance, especially considering the potential implications for Nigeria's sovereignty and security. However, President Tinubu's recent decision to reject the establishment of these military bases has sparked renewed hope and admiration among Nigerians. His firm stance against foreign military presence on Nigerian soil reflects a commitment to safeguarding the nation's independence and autonomy. It's a stance that resonates deeply with many citizens who value their country's sovereignty above all else. As we reflect on this development, there's a sense of relief and gratitude towards President Tinubu for standing up for Nigeria's interests. It's a reminder of the importance of leaders who prioritize the well-being and sovereignty of their nation, even in the face of external pressures and interests. Looking ahead, there's a collective hope that President Tinubu remains steadfast in his decision and doesn't waver in the face of potential challenges or persuasion. His leadership in this matter sets an example for other African leaders, emphasizing the importance of resisting foreign influence and protecting national sovereignty. In this moment, we stand united in support of President Tinubu's decision and hopeful for a future where Nigeria's sovereignty remains intact and uncompromised. 
Drawing upon the tangible experiences gleaned from Burkina Faso and Niger, ACF underscored the deleterious repercussions associated with hosting foreign military bases, emphasizing their propensity to flout the laws and interests of host countries. They cogently argued that the resolute rejection of such bases by ECOWAS member states should serve as a resounding deterrent to Nigeria's contemplation of hosting them. Furthermore, ACF accentuated the intrinsic interconnectedness of African nations and the shared historical fabric that predates the colonial era, vehemently denouncing the arbitrary imposition of international boundaries crafted at the Berlin Conference of 1884 to 1885. In a scathing critique of Furiwa's assertions, ACF rebuked the notion that foreign military bases would dutifully respect Nigeria's sovereignty or effectively contribute to the ongoing battle against terrorism and insurgency. They pointedly highlighted the evident ineffectiveness of such bases in addressing the scourge of terrorism and insurgency in other nations where they are stationed. Concluding their discourse, ACF expressed profound disappointment in Huriwa's attempts to trivialize the valid concerns articulated by certain northern leaders regarding the potential ramifications of hosting foreign military bases. They categorically rejected the notion that such concerns were exclusively representative of a southern Nigerian agenda, affirming that these apprehensions transcend regional boundaries and resonate deeply with all Nigerians committed to safeguarding the nation's sovereignty and interests. The collective resolve demonstrated by leaders across Africa to safeguard their nation's sovereignty against the encroachment of foreign military bases is truly commendable. From President Tinubu's resolute rejection in Nigeria to the steadfast stance of leaders throughout the continent, this unified commitment to independence and self-determination is a testament to Africa's strength and resilience. As we reflect on the importance of maintaining control over our own security and destiny, let us applaud the visionary leadership of those who have stood firm in the face of external pressures. Their unwavering dedication to protecting their country's sovereignty serves as an inspiration to us all. In an era marked by geopolitical complexities and power dynamics, Africa's leaders have demonstrated courage and foresight in prioritizing the interests of their people above all else. As we look to the future, let us continue to celebrate and support the efforts of these great leaders in preserving Africa's sovereignty and advancing the continent's collective aspirations. We value your input. What are your thoughts on President Tinubu's decision to reject the establishment of foreign military bases in Nigeria? What steps do you think African nations should take to strengthen their sovereignty and resist external pressures for military basing agreements? Please share your opinions in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with others. Thank you for watching.